welcome citizens, Chet Arius here. New year, new nav macros. <clears throat> kind of messed that up. Oh well. Yeah. I've got all new nav macros now. Um, I spent like 15 hours this week because I'm tenacious and a little bit insane. Uh, trying to figure out nav macros for some of the more uh, difficult uh, areas. Uh, Microtech has weirdness with its map, doesn't fit all the moons on. And there are places like Arc L1 where when you double click zoom on the Arc L1 Lagrange point, the station is off the map. It's kind of dumb. <clears throat> um, I'll show you. So, uh, Arc Arc L1, double click. You could see it just for a brief moment there, but of course, there's no way to. There, there's not really a good way to. I mean, you could kind of guess, but but you can't really select it. It just it doesn't work. So the only way to do it is to move the map. The problem is moving the map with voice attack in the default way of, of moving, what, how most people would do it, results in drift. I don't know if you can see it, like, kind of drifting after I, you know, it's like you throw it, right? You're throwing it. <clears throat> well, that that's not very accurate. In fact, it it's very inaccurate uh, and when you move the map like uh, just like this it, it is going to be different almost every time I don't know if it's you know the, the processor or your graphics card at the time but there's other variables at work when you when you just move the mouse in the map <clears throat> so uh, I've found a method that works 100% of the time to move the map. Uh, there's a few things I learned also, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> you can use WASD to move the map. Um, the funny thing is, uh, clicking the key once does not move the map a set amount. It Again, it is variable. So I was like, ha, the keyboards, surely that will be... Nope. It, uh, it kind of is all over the place. So, uh, but I did learn that, and that was cool. Um, so here's the Arc L1 macro. The reason why I'm doing Arc L1, focusing on that today, is because if you're a miner, Arc L1 is an important spot. That's where just about everyone that mines on Leary is going, and it is certainly nice to have a macro that will do this. Ava navigate to arc l1 see it move the map and select the station uh, <clears throat> now in voice attack it is doing it in a very specific way that it is exact every single time I have not missed it yet I'll do it again also uh, the way I've got my macro set up you can use the station names as well so, Ava, navigate to Wide Forest Station. It, it moves it the same exact amount on the screen every single time, which is exactly the holy grail that I was looking for. So, let's actually go into the macro here. Uh, I am going to show my screen. <laughs> there we go. Close that and reopen it. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> here is all the uh, macros. I've done this for all of the mac, uh, all of the planets, all of the moons, and all of the Lagrange points. I was a busy boy on vacation. So wide forest station. Uh, you can see. <coughs> I've got, I've tried to label things, so it's opening <coughs> mobile glass, it's clearing the route, 
This is where it double clicks on the um, the Arc L1 location on the map. Um, and then it's going to drag the screen. Uh, it's moving the mouse to the middle of the screen. And it's holding down the right, the right mouse button. This is the secret sauce that I found. Normally, <coughs> you're doing move to coordinates, right? And, and uh, you know, it's holding the mouse button down. And you would think, you know, I'm going to move the mouse to these coordinates and it's going to be the same every time. And it is absolutely not the same every time doing it that way. But I found, just through trial and error, that switching it to down here and using the move using relative data useful for 3d games um, I was able to in this case move it 200 mickeys I don't even know what that is I just played with the number until it looked about right um, and then um, I have it animate movement over 0.25 seconds uh, 30 steps and I unchecked ease movement uh, and then the other key is to make sure to give it a little breather afterwards. So half a second breather for it to completely move. <coughs> then it releases the right mouse button and then it selects the station. This works every time. So just look at Arc L1 or any of the other ones as examples. And, uh, and it will it will do the thing. And it will do it the right way. Um, some of them are a little bit more complicated than others, but uh, it does it does work. Um, here is how uh, you can edit these. My monitor resolution and my game resolution may not be the same as yours. I'm playing on a... <coughs> 1920 by 1200 monitor playing the game in a borderless window at 1920 by 1080 I think yeah so I'm playing the game at 1080p um, if you're not using that exact same setup these macros may not work for you so uh, to change things you edit that macro. <coughs> this is what I recommend doing. I am still coughing. It's only been five weeks since I had, since I came down with pneumonia, and I'm still working on it. Okay. Um, edit your macro. Bring up your map. Edit your macro. Go down here to double-click zoom on target after the nav map is open, and select the position on the screen you could see that it, it can it can kind of look at at what you're pointing at here right so um hit f8 capture the location um you know update the uh update the the macro then <clears throat> go down here to the very bottom where it closes the mobile glass right click on there and say disable action that will run the macro let's close that but keep the nav map on the screen so that you can work on making adjustments Ava navigate to arc L1 So you can see the, ma the macro has worked here, but it hasn't closed it yet. <clears throat> and this will allow you to go back in here and find the set. Well, so two things. If you need to change this <clears throat> so that it drags it more or less, um, go ahead and edit that. Um, save it, um, hit apply, close down your mobile glass, run it again until the, uh, the 
correct amount of map movement is is ready for you. Then you can go in here <coughs> and for select station, do the same thing. Click, uh, you know, set your mouse to where you need it to be to select the station properly. Hit F8, capture location. Hit OK. Hit apply. And then uh, you should be good to go. Once you've got everything locked down and it works, you can go in here and uh, enable the action again so that the whole thing runs as normal. And that is what I have. I want everyone to have a happy new year and enjoy these macros for however long they last. <clears throat> I um, am assuming that at some point, because I know they've said they're going to redo it, They'll redo the new nav map and all my hard work will be for naught, but I will have learned how to move things better on the screen, which is great. Um, I will be updating macros when 3.18 full PTU comes out. I'll, I'll be updating the inventory macros, so look for those hopefully in the new year. Everyone have a great and safe new year and weekend, and I will see you all again soon. Take care.